Thomas's Christmas miracle. It was Christmas time on the island of Sonora, and all the angels were excited. But one angel was named Thomas the Tank Engine. Oh, Thomas the Tank Engine was willing to make this year's Christmas better than one. Man, I can't believe it's already Christmas. We know. It's quite exciting. Ugh, I'm excited for all the festivities this year. But there's one problem. What problem, Thomas? Um, can you look around? There's no snow anywhere. It's not snowing this year, and... You know, it just doesn't feel like Christmas without snow. But just then, Thomas heard a familiar whistle. It was Percy shutting some trucks for the for the last train before Christmas. Hello, Thomas. What's wrong? Percy, there's no snow on the ground anywhere. It just won't feel like Christmas without snow. I feel you, Thomas. But who knows? Maybe next year there will be snow. Or maybe tonight there will be snow. Oh, come on, girls. We must not be late. And Thomas puffed off. Later that day, Thomas was shunting Danny and Credible into his siding since he was done his branch line duties. Just then, he heard a very strange honking noise. Mm-hmm. Oh, Winston! Stop! Are you okay, sir? Oh, yes, Thomas, I am. But I have a very special job for you. Um, what is it? <sighs> Thomas, I want you to go pick up the carolers this year. The carolers? <gasps> That's one of the most important parts of Christmas. I can certainly do that. Where do I pick them up? From the station. Now hurry, we don't have that much time left. Yes, sir. So Thomas puffed off with Annie and Credibel. Uh, sir, I'm sorry, but... Winston, please don't... Uh, <coughs> Early days yet, sir. Yes, eh? yes, Winston. Early days yet. Soon Thomas made it to the station. All aboard, everybody! Just then, James and Gordon were there. Oh, 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 leave Sir Topham Hat to leave a... Puny, weeny, tiny tank engine to pull one of the most important trains of the year. I know, you or me should have that job. Not this little tank engine on wheels. Hey, that's not nice. Plus, it's Christmas time. You shouldn't be making fun of people. Well, we can if you guys, if you're named Thomas. <laughs> Don't get stuck in any snow. Oh, wait, there is no snow. <laughs> uh, I'll prove them wrong. So Thomas puffed away. Thomas continued puffing down the line, but he was still cross about what they said. How dare they make fun of me? Me, the number one engine on Soto. He was so cross, he wasn't paying attention to the rock that was on the line. Huh? Oh, no. Oh! Thomas was derailed. Oh no! Help! Help! Meanwhile, Percy was shunting in the yard. Come on, you stupid trucks! Get a move on! <sighs> Just then he heard a honking noise. Honk, honk! Percy! Percy! I just got a call that Thomas is in trouble. He came off the line on his branch line. And now I need you to go help him. Yes, sir. Percy popped off to help to so help his best friend. And Sir Topham Hat soon followed behind him. Percy puffed along the line. Thomas! Thomas! Just then he heard a familiar whistle. Percy, I'm over here! Thomas! Thomas, are you okay? No, I'm not. I need you to help me get back on the tracks. Got it. 
so Percy was soon coupled up to Credibel, and he heaved, he hoved, and he soon helped Thomas back on the line. First, the coaches were back on the track. <sighs> All right, Thomas, one last pull. And Percy heaved and hove. First, Thomas's back wheels were on the track. Then his middles. And then his front two wheels were on the track. Thomas was saved. Christmas was saved. Come on, Percy. We better make up for lost time now. Meanwhile, James and Gordon were grunting. Where is that silly little engine? It's been an hour. I know they'll come here. I know it. Just then they heard two familiar whistles. It was Thomas and Percy, and they came with the carolers. I told you they would be here. Hello, sir. Thank you, Percy, for helping me back on the tracks. No problem. Well, come on. The people are waiting for the carolers to start singing. Soon the killers started singing, and everyone was happy. James and Gordon started to feel guilty. Oh, we're, we're sorry that we teased you, said Gordon. Yeah, we didn't mean it, wheezed James. Ah, it's fine. What matters most is that we're all together. That's the most important thing. And that was the story of Thomas's Christmas.